As people take to the roads this Easter weekend, the public is being urged to check their auto infringement status. The Road Traffic Infringement Agency uh, and the city of Polokwane say motorists can visit the auto mobile office for assistance. It has, however, warned that public to warn the public to adhere to. COVID-19 safety protocols, the demerit system, comes into effect from July this year. Let's bring in our reporter, Rutendo Bobori. He's covering the story for us. Rutendo, very good morning to you. Uh, what are you seeing there uh, where you are, especially with regards to information you're getting about traffic volumes and the like, and especially this warning uh, about checking the, the status with regards to auto? Thank you so much, Blen. I'm, I'm going to come back to you with regard to traffic volumes a little bit later on. But um, I, I, here we are in, in Mangueng here, and as you said in the intro, Arto are checking the infringement uh, status, uh, status of drivers. It doesn't matter where, where they, they come from, they can come here and check the infringement, uh, infringement status. You know, if you think uh, you, you might have accumulated uh, tickets, probably speed tickets, maybe you are speed happy and you. You know, your foot is heavy, you, you like clapping your accelerator. You can come here and check your, your status if you have accumulated any tickets or if you know that you have some tickets and um, you, you, you just want to pay them or you think that you've been wrongly fined. You, you can uh, negotiate for a discount. You can negotiate for the ticket to be slashed away or you can negotiate for a discount if you think, yes, you have uh, infringed um, on, on a traffic regulation and you feel that uh, you, you, you won't manage to pay uh, the fine that has been uh, issued to you. You can come here and of course uh, try to negotiate for uh, a discount. You know, as um, I've said, they're here, motorists are trickling in. You know, it's not like if you have a fine, you'll be arrested. Uh, unless, of course, uh, it's, drag and dri it's drag and driving, then it's, it's, a, it's a court issue, it's a criminal procedure act issue. You're supposed to go to court and go through uh, the whole process. But for more, here I have uh, uh, Mangha Mamabulo from Arto, who's, who's going to join us here and give us more information about this particular campaign. Mr. Mamabulo, thank you so much for your time. Just talk to us about this campaign. Just uh, give us a blow-by-blow account of this. Okay, Rena Rilova Artia Rena Lenano Art of Friday. Art of Friday, you are not a young re Shakumila, Jack was chubbing, who the province of Mugavacho and our departure, the province of Adiba Telaho, but the Borna Art of Friday, the product, the China Arto, the Berekawanka Arto, it will be a roller out by the first of July. So, when you are not a little Art of Friday or about five minutes ago, the Borna Art. To act, if I got a car, Arco RT, in a little Hato Hato, Chayona, or Sanalego, and a fifty per cent, there was no Rodiramola to our word infringement, or Nalidi, the Patella Chau, Hawana, Hawana, and the Huedi, Honyaka with the arrangement. Well, more Art of Friday, it is here, services here, and I'm with Chavian Gore, more about Tolumopoloco and the Samaraka province or before, Rito Roller out, that you want to July. Even Art of Friday, yeah, the Hona Rutaba to or Nava to come up almost Chavi Samuel. Popo, what for Gamuka case at any Gamuka province of Gamuka? What's more than Arto, Ibarakaini, in the Hau Hawana, Chamo Savare, here over Ilumulatu, the Gatawata Mori, now it's about information or not, the Gabor Rudia and Catabaya Arto. So Yalamolu Honu, the Ratana Liba, the Fapala Ladina Melo, the Japoluke, all Valim Popo, the Yona Maspaliti, Polukani, more Maspaliti, Polukani, but Chegaro, but Chegala was Chava, the Tikiti, Chavona, or Nava Tikiti. So that department transport Department of Transport, the municipality, the RTIA. Thank you so much for your time, right?
Yeah, well, it's basically saying what uh, I've been explaining to you that uh, you can come here, check your uh, in infringement status. You know, you, you, you don't have to know that you have uh, infringed on a, on a reg on traffic regulation, but you can also come here just to know uh, your status so to avoid, uh, you know, future uh, getting uh, on the wrong side of the law in the future, you know. And um, he has also uh, appealed to motorists to drive uh, with caution, especially around this time um, of the year. I also get going back to your question about uh, traffic in the province, we've been monitoring, um, you know, traffic here since this morning. You know, around this time, Blaine, this, this, there are always congestions, especially uh, when you you know that that ZCC uh, churches will be gathering for their Easter pil pilgrimage. But this time around, it's it's smooth. It's been going well, of course, uh, with people going home for holidays. Um, you know, especially holiday makers, you 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 see congestions at um, at the toll gates, but. Just Generally, uh, it's been, you know, flowing like a mighty stream, as we have reported yesterday. Rutendo Bobori, live for us in Limpopo. We thank you very much indeed. As you can see, we also have Molema Wawone Mutwa. She's live for us in the capital there, Pretoria. We'll get to her in a short while. But I want to bring in Tumele Motoho. He's live for us at the Limbombo uh, border post. As you know, many travelers head to Mozambique. The Pumalanga Road Safety Department says their focus is not only on road safety, but also on adherence to COVID-19 regulations to see if travelers are complying. Let's uh, bring in Tumelo now. Tumelo, very good morning to you. What are you witnessing there? Are motorists complying with the rules and regulations? Well, Blaine, the motorists have been complying with the roads and regulations. We've been seeing taxis only carrying about 70% of passengers, but also here at Lebombo. We're about seven, kilo, seven kilometers away from Lebombo border post. Just behind me, there is traffic, but the traffic is manageable, and the traffic officials have been also uh, they are on the road to ensure that uh, uh, motorists are driving. They're not driving recklessly, and also they are obeying the rules of the road uh, when they travel. But these people that are behind me and these traffic traffic that is behind me is the traffic that is heading towards Mozambique and these are the people that woke up in the early hours of this morning to ensure that they're on the road because you remember that the border closed at about nine o'clock because of the curfew in Mozambique that start about nine o'clock up until 4 a.m. in the morning but let's speak to uh, Kenel Madiza he is uh, uh, the port manager here at Lebombo border post and that they just talk to us about the traffic we see there is traffic but it is moving just talk to us about the the, the initiative that you guys came up with to ensure that the traffic here is manageable is moving okay thank you very much as the port we we have realized that in the past uh, th three years we were having a very very serious challenge between uh, the main port and as well as the kilometer seven which is our extended port facility uh, we realized also that uh, in that area uh, the space is too small and the road is, so, is too narrow. So we decided when we were sitting in our planning meeting in the PMC, we decided that uh, the travel, all the traffic, it needs to be stopped here. And then as you can see on my left is where we, we do certain diversion for vehicles that are heavily loaded, like the, the buggies and the, the taxis. So we are diverting them into my left, which is the entering what we call kilometer seven, which is an extended port. And that's, that's where they are going through the, the port formalities and then after that they are being esc escorted. On my right, uh, in front of me, there are other small vehicles which they need to be processed in the main port. So at a certain pace, we allow a quantity of vehicles to proceed to, to the main port and then as they move from between here to the main port, there's no vehicles on the road. So we are managing the, 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 the road to, to, to ensure that as they move towards the port, they can speedily arrive at the port and then be processed from that area. That they just talked to us about in terms of people that have been processed since last night and also this morning. How many did we see a, a, a surge in numbers? Because we know that last year there was no one on the road because we had the, the, the lockdown. But this year the, that lockdown has been relaxed. People can still travel to, to other countries. Uh, uh, how are we doing this year is, uh, uh, and in terms of numbers, how many people have been processed and uh, are we hoping to see more people, especially today uh, our expectation uh, uh, in terms of our operation from yesterday is uh, we were expecting a huge number but unfortunately we were so disappointed because now only few people that pitch up uh, yesterday I can just give you the state to say now we process 962 if you compare it for, from last year December 
Uh, last year, December, we processed almost on a daily basis. It was over 10,000. Now we are having only 962, which uh, we processed yesterday. But today, the numbers, I think, are going to be increased because now uh, most of the travelers, they were not aware that the port will close at night. So most of them, they travel during the night and then they have to be stuck here. And then we started to process them to, uh, 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 today. But I'm expecting today the numbers are going to increase. But this test, it will only be available as from tomorrow. That they talk to us about also about in terms of illegal goods that have been uh, uh, been people. We know that you guys have uh, uh, confiscated some illegal goods. What are those illegal goods? And uh, in terms of uh, estimation of uh, in terms of street value of uh, those goods, uh, and what have you guys discovered since yesterday? Yes, uh, as as the officials are doing their job at the port, uh, this time around we managed to to seize various goods uh, to the value of 2.4 million i can say there were a lot of nike brands uh, that adidas polos and mercedes t-shirts a lot of uh, brands and also including uh, alcohol which is a soldier in south africa they're not been selling this kind of soldiers so those are the uh, illicit goods that we intercepted and then we handed over uh, to uh, revenue services to deal with the matter going forward Ndate also talked to us about now we're seeing uh, have you seen overloads in terms of people overloading things especially towards the other country and talk to us about the COVID-19 we know some people from Mozambique are also traveling towards South Africa side uh, have you guys uh, having any problems with people from Mozambique especially when it comes to testing of COVID-19 yes we are still doing our, our process our procedures in terms of the COVID in terms of compliance of COVID-19 at the main port uh, for now for the past three days we only uh, uh, identify only eight people positive that they are coming into the country remember as you are leaving the south africa we are not testing you uh, mozambique will test you as you are arriving in their country but uh, as you come in from any other country you want to enter south africa we need to do tests for you so for now for the past three days only eight people that were tested uh, uh, positive and then we have entered them those that were not South, South African citizen, obviously we will turn them back. But those that were South African citizen, we will always uh, 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 bring them in uh, to our uh, uh, quarantine facility. Fantastic. That was Colonel uh, Obed Madiza. There is the port manager here at Le Bombo Border Post talking to us about the issues that they've been experiencing here at the border. They are opening more for more cars to actually to pass so that they can stop at some uh, at some point so that they can allow other people to cross to the border. Blaine, but they also have they've been warned that uh, motor, uh, people that are traveling, especially travelers that are be traveling towards Mozambique, they need to travel to ensure that they cross the border before 9 p.m. tonight because uh, Mozambique uh, 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 locked down or rather the cafe there start around 9 o'clock until 4 a.m. in the morning. So they also need to close the border they start so they don't allow anyone to travel to Mozambique at that stage at that uh, after that time because then those people that have already been processed, they won't be able to travel any further. So Melo Motoko, like for us, uh, thank you very much indeed, sir. We will try to get back to you a little later on to get an update. Let's bring in Molemo Wane Motua uh, back into the conversation. Twine Metro Police is intensifying visibility in suburbs and townships over this Easter weekend to ensure adherence to lockdown regulations. Molemo, uh, just tell us what you're witnessing there. Morning, Blaine. We're coming live to you from the Kumulani Toll Plaza. And uh, traffic volumes have uh, actually decreased uh, on this side of the province uh, as compared to yesterday. As according to the Houghton Traffic uh, Police, about 1,500 to 2,000 vehicles were passing through the toll gates on the N1 to Limpopo in the afternoon until late in the evening, and no accidents have been reported, especially uh, in Pretoria. Uh, we actually also uh, have heard the police uh, saying that uh, they'll be taking a hard line against those who will be caught on the wrong side of the law, as you've seen yesterday with the Chinese municipality in conjunction with the Road uh, Traffic Management Corporation launching the Easter Safe uh, Operations. Uh, 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 for, for you know, uh, the, Easter the, the Easter safe operations uh, with the unveiling of the two specialized mobile trucks uh, which are going to be used to, you know, check the fitness uh, of vehicles. They'll be checking, among others, uh, the conditions of the tires. They'll be checking the, the brakes as well. And as you'd recall, Blaine, uh, that last year, 
you know, the road fatalities uh, were significantly reduced due to the lockdown. And officials have also uh, indicated that regulations for alert level one will remain in force uh, with emphasis on the curfew as well as the prohibition on the sale of alcohol for, for off-site consumption. All right, uh, Molomo Warren and Mutwa, their life for us. Thank you very much indeed. No doubt we have our reporters fanned out across the country. We will get you the very latest on the roads in terms of regulations as well, adherence to regulations. We were told that police will be on high alert this weekend as well. A number of roadblocks set up, so I guess the message is don't take a chance.